Have you ever wondered how ads and videos pop up on your feed? Is it because your something's watching you or your phone's even listening to you? Or is it because of a curious late night search that you looked up for a random fact for no reason? I'm here to inform you how algorithms can influence and impact party and events and also influence you. My name is Jose Dan Garcia and I'm a computer science major. I have learned a lot about algorithms in the past couple years and I understand how they sort and organize things as the user and programmer fits. I've also did some tests on looking up certain keywords and seeing if I get those same keywords in an ad or pop up in my feed. So far, it never seems to fail. And the main points I want to talk to you about is what an algorithm is, how it influences on social media, how it affects election and important events, and why is it important to limit the spread. So, and algorithms are great, and what about the mathematics that unpin them from the article I read? explains an algorithm as in sequences. Either you go with 60 times 7 and the number will always be higher than 6 times 10 because the number 60 is 10 times more than 6. Pretty self-explanatory but it also caps the number at 60 and we know that the next couple numbers are going to be higher. It's also as in giving a sequence number as 5, 2, 4, 3, 1 and then organizing it from 1 through 5 or 5 through 1. An algorithm in layman's term is something to sort and organize in the effect of fighting for you and helping what you want to see. These algorithms are everywhere and even in real life situations, but most importantly they're in social media. Now social media like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat all implement a feature called stories. A story is a picture of a caption or a short video showing something in the moment. Now if you put it in an algorithm format, a story only pops up when you see it the most. If you notice that your top stories that you always see are the people that you watch the most and if you keep scrolling, you'll see people that you don't watch as much but they're all the way in the back even though you know them personally. See the algorithm pulls what you want to see and what you see the most. And they put down an effect of what you want to see and how they will provide it as in you are asking for this the most. Like an Instagram feed of looking for cats and dog videos, you will have a whole feed of cats and dogs. Now this also works on the internet towards social media where if you look up something on the internet like the website Chewy for dogs, you will get ads that relate to Chewy and dog products because you looked it up and they're saying that you're more in, want in more information and are looking for items like that. Social media feed may be one thing, but algorithms do way more, especially during election and important events happening. If we bring up the example of the 2016 election with Russia somehow getting more profiles to influence people in the election to vote for them, it's because the algorithm picked up keywords and key searches for people and what they looked up that year which helped boost the more frequency of what you see and what they post. This is just an example and if you think about it anything you will see posts coming up in your feed even though they relate to nothing they might be tagged or using keywords of important events and saying Trump, Biden, Hillary and those will pop up because of the time time period. This also takes place with another article I read called Weak Bots Are Strong or Strong uh, the, the Strength of Weak Bots I mean sorry. And with that bots are essentially fake profiles controlled by algorithms and people that just use it to boost morale or even spread false information and give more likes than it needs to be. Like if you see a post with like a small number of likes, it's not going to pop up or go viral. Now if you have millions of bots liking it and seeing it and commenting random things saying that it's true, it will pop up and then you might see it. This will influence a lot of people and how they think and not give the full story and accidentally give false information. This can affect a lot of people and a lot of things and events and panic. Even though the bots get through the gates, 
of the internet. There's always a way to limit them and just give the right information and give the fair uses. The way that we can limit it is trying to hold back on bots and try to hold back on keywords that are used. We need people to use keywords that will help them give out the right information, but also it needs to have the algorithm take out any flag reports, any false news. As of right now, like the algorithm on Facebook gives you a guideline of how this is COVID. If you want real COVID-19 facts, you can look up the CDC information about it. And that's the algorithm at work trying to protect you and give you the right thing. This also means that you can also watch out where you accept your cookies and allow cookies to get used because cookies are data that you're giving to the website to give to other websites so they know what you're looking up. But then also, it is also your free right to speak and give everything. Just don't try to falsely accuse different things on people. Now, if you put more limits on these companies and algorithms, it will stop from information and getting the right word out. To help information about how algorithms can influence people on social media and with false information and how to get them, we can help stop the spread and give more enlightenment of how algorithms work and why you're seeing what you're seeing. Now, if you, ever, if you ever feel like the internet's watching or listening, just know it will always start with you and then the algorithm. So be careful what you look up.